we're going to set up our database. I've logged into my hosting account, and all hosting accounts are going to look a little bit different on the inside. Um, I get to my web, web hosting options, and I'm going to look for my database management link. I'm going to go into my database management and create a database for our WordPress blog. And for our example, we're going to create a database called uh, WordPress. You can make this anything that you want to make it. You hit the create button and our database has now been created. We're going to go back to database management and assign a user for this database and give it permissions. So we're going to go back down to the bottom of our list there and you, to create a user here you can create a username, give that user a password, and <laughs> spell it right. Create the user, and you'll go back to the database management for the last step, which is giving that user permissions to that database. And we'll go down back down to our bottom here and you'll see we'll pick our database which was we called it WordPress and we'll call it user here and this it's already set up but if yours isn't you'll want to give them all privileges if you're working with other databases and you're just watching this tutorial you may have other things that you'll need to lock and unlock here for the privileges once I grant these permissions this user with the WordPress that uh, with the password that we gave it, we'll be able to administrate data in our WordPress. Now you notice here on my hosting account I have a prefix of master add. Um, that's part of my hosting account. Your prefix will look different or you may have none at all depending on the type of hosting that you're running. I have, I'm on shared hosting so this is um, that prefix I have to use to access my accounts. We hit the grant permissions there and we're ready to go to install our WordPress. Talk to you later.